Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, C'est La Vie Dawn. Yes, I have the Merida hair from Brave going on today, hence the hat kind of holding it back. But I'm cold, it's minus 15 plus wind chill and I'm just cold. I've been doing in and out. So my sister-in-law had this hat made for me and I have such a huge head, like my head is huge. So she, I said, no hats ever fit me. I can't buy hats. Well, she had this made for me and I love it. It is warm and it fits, you guys. I'm so excited. So you just have to have my brave Merida hair. And she is my little spirit character. So Merida it is. Okay, I do have some spring to share with you guys today though, which is why I want to share. So when we were at Colasanti's last Saturday, if you had seen any of my other videos, you'll know. So uh, I took my two younger boys, because my um, my husband was a, um, up in St. Marie with our two older boys snowmobiling, and it's kind of a coming of age for them to do that, because uh, you have to be 12 to get your snowmobile license. However, my sons have always waited till they're 13, they get their snowmobile licenses, and then he takes them up. So. It was another one's turn, so my husband took my two of my boys and my nephew up, and then we did something uh, for family day together, myself and the two younger ones, and we went and we picked up Tina up and Sheila, and we went to Colasantis, which is near Leamington, Ontario, and it's driving me crazy. Just bear with it, you guys. I know this is what red, long, curly, thick hair just does when it's, yeah. Anyway. I got some plants. I wanted to get some lavender and they had some sale plants on, but it, the place closed at six and they wouldn't let us back there uh, at the end. So I didn't end up getting the lavender, but that's okay. There's lots of places I can get lavender. I just, I wanted to get it. So my hair is such a mess. Okay, I'll stop. But I did get some other plants. So I'm going to share with you guys what I got for upcoming DIYs, fairy gardens, et cetera, et cetera. But first I'm going to show you what my boys picked out. Um, my boys love plants. Sheila noticed that. She's like, I never thought that your like, boys like plants. My boys were going crazy in there and we would have spent a lot more, but you know, there is budget, right? So each one of them got a Venus fly plant, a Venus, fly trap plant they they just transplanted them so they're kind of in that shock process but they each got one of those and these were i think they were 4.99 so yeah they're they're a little wilty because they've just been transplanted in this house they've gone from like a nice warm green house to my house so <laughs> they're in the transition phase right now so these are the venus fly traps and my boys I've wanted these for a long time. So they got those. Then my youngest, I said they could each get two things. My youngest picked out this. This cactus was $12 and it's a nice big size. Was it $12? $12.99, sorry. And it came with the terracotta pot and yeah, it's, it's a nice high. This is my hand here. So it's a nice, it's taller than my hand. So he picked that for his room, so that's his. And then my youngest, or no, that's my youngest, then the next one in line that was with us, he wanted more than one, but because of my youngest picking the $12.99 plant, I told my son he could get a few of the smaller ones, which these kind of ranged uh, anywhere from $3.99 down to $2.49 it looks like, yeah. So he's already transplanted them because you'll see mine in a minute. They come in these little pots. He's already transplanted them into this clear acrylic container I had in the craft room. Uh, hadn't been, this one hadn't been put into use. I normally store markers and stuff, but he was looking for something kind of neat. So he's already put the three cacti he bought in here and this sits in his room in the window. So he has these little three uh, he didn't keep his pot, so I don't know. I don't even know if they put the actual names of the cactus. Like if you were in Arizona or down south somewhere, they'll, they, they tell you or you know you learn really quick, but I forget. So anyway, these are the ones he picked out. So these ones are these little four narrow ones here. We have the small bunchy pricky one here, and then we have 
These one, this one's a little tall and then it's like these little bubbles that will grow up. So that's what he picked for his choice. He's already transplanted. He did this all himself and the Venus fly traps. Now I'm gonna show you what I got. So I got, I don't know where the other one is, but I got two ivy plants. And ivy, I love ivy. Ivy is an amazing plant. It's hard to kill. This is English ivy. So just for some DIYs and I forgot how much this was. I think 250, maybe three, not very expensive. So I got two of those and I wanted some real dangly ones. So yeah, I got those. I also got this. These are four inch campanula. I don't know how well these are gonna do in my house. I had some plans, but I don't know. The plant part will stay alive here, no problem, but I have a hard time with the lighting and everything. So we'll see how well I do with these. But yeah, in white, so I got those, but you can see like when they go brown, they dry out and you gotta pick them off. And I just, I haven't had a chance to do that yet. So anyway, I got those. So yeah, I really like, they, these are in like brown paper too. It's really pretty. So I got those. And then I finally got shamrocks. I've been after these for a while in my area and every all the florists I was in, they're like, oh, they're not gonna be out until after Valentine's Day. Just come back, come back, come back. And they were at Calisic Colisanti. So I got the four, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, I got the four inch shamrock in like the burgundy shamrock with the pink flowers. So I got that one. And excuse me, Toby, Toby. Come here. Toby's a very bad kitty. Um, he scratches furniture, so yeah, he, he's not allowed to do that. So uh, we got, I got that. I love the burgundy shamrocks. Then I got, so the, the, it, this one was 269, four inch pot, which I'm going to be transplanting. Four inch shamrock in the regular color with, or sorry, the green with the white flower. And then I got one green with the purple, purpley pink flower. And they were each $2.69. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever had shamrocks, but these open during the day and then they close at night. So these leaves are open right now. If it was dark, they close up, which is really fun to watch them do that. And these are your shamrocks. I can't find clovers anywhere. And so for St. Patrick's Day decor, I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to order seeds or keep some from the grass. Oh, we have all kinds in the lawn. But uh, get some seeds and grow them or something for next St. Patrick's Day decor crafting. But just the, the thought came too late this year. So anyway, got the shamrocks anyway. They're always available. Uh, this time of year and these are actually easy to keep alive so we had them my husband and I had them when we lived in Windsor before we had kids we ended up getting rid of them when we had the kids like when they were little we just didn't want them eating them but we're past that so I can have them again so yeah got those and then for my succulents and cactus I'm going to show you I'm pretty excited for fairy gardens and things like that this is a 2.5 inch cactus and it was $3.99 and some of the shamrock flowers have fallen. Oh no, maybe that's it. Oh yeah, no, it's a shamrock flower that's fallen on it. Okay, so that one, I just got pricked. This one was $3.99. So I got that set. Then, oh, I got the this little one, one Point five inch cactus. Yeah, they don't have their actual names, but uh, this one has the pink flowers that come up. So yeah, that one, two forty nine. Then I got this one here, just the little bulge cactus. Like my son got one of those as well, and this one was two forty nine. Cute. And I got this one. I love this one. It was $2.49 as well, 1.5 inch. These have not been watered, like they are right root bound and everything. So I'll definitely, oh, battery's dying. Whenever I go to film, my battery wants to die. They're really root bound, so these need uh, transplanting. I just, I my son will do it for me. <laughs> He's done his. Okay, then we're gonna get in, oh, last cactus I got here. This is, this one does have a name, the 2.5 inch moon cactus. They had these in all different colors. I just got the hot pink, 
fuchsia for my craft room or my bedroom, not sure yet, but love that. So I got that. And then succulents, I just got three succulents because I have a whole bunch that I'm trying to keep alive in the basement until spring that I got at a garden center. You know, the ones that come up at the grocery stores and then they, they pull off, like they're in the parking lot and then they're gone at the end of the summer. Well, they were selling every succulent for like a quarter, but I've lost some, some are still alive. So just, yeah. So I didn't buy the, 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 the flat succulents, but I did get these ones. So this one was 1.5 inch at 249. It's still moist. Like they, these need more water than the cactus, but yeah, look at this one. Isn't that key? awesome? Oh, I, I just had a little shop of horrors memory here. So anyway, that from a play that I was part of when I was in high school. So look at that. Love that. Then this one I got and I wanted to buy aloe when I was there. I want huge owl plants. I'm after, we have the little owl over, the, over there. I want the really wide owl, aloe, aloe, there we go. We had it when we lived in Windsor and our vehicles were full, the moving trailer trucks were full. I told my husband I would keep it at the feet and he said, no, you have to leave it there and I'm still not. I love that. So uh, ever since then, I've never been able to replace it and I'm still looking to. I will eventually, but it's those big wide ones. Anyway, this is, sorry, this, but it has that aloe feel to it. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. It even could be in the aloe family because it does feel like it has that aloe juice in it. So anyway, I got that. I thought that was really unique looking and it was $3.99. Oh, this one was $2.49. And did I give you a price on this one? $3.99. These are really popular. I think that's why they're expensive. And then last succulent I got there was this 1.5 inch and it reminds me of like lamb's ears, that really soft. And again, it's got that real juice. Not like this one though. Like this one you can feel the juice move around like the like the aloe. This one's more solid like your typical succulent. So I got those and definitely plan on doing some uh, fairy gardening type things with those for outside. They can stay outside and then come in in the summer but clearly we're not there yet here in Ontario. The sun is trying to shine. I am very happy about that but it is very cold out there. It's uh Minus 15 plus the wind chill, so it's cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little plant haul. Uh, I just, I love plants. I love spring coming. So I just thought I would share that with you and I might have more as I do more uh, plant shopping and things like that. So anyway, take care guys and I will catch you in another video. Bye-bye.